awesome supercar just cruising on the highway 20 years old you know like what you can't get any better than that yeah so i started ams uh late 2015. um i was a shop in you know cleaning the floors and everything and uh, i'd pretty much do every job that no one else wants to do it get tossed onto me so about three months in arnie came up to me and he says he needs help taking an, a, a shop car down to uh, Malibu, California for testing. What do I got to help with? He's like, well, I was hoping you'd come with me, you know? And I was like, absolutely, you know, I've been, you know, I'm here mopping floors and all, it's gonna be a week off of mopping floors. I get to ride down there with him and, you know, enjoy Malibu, California with the Twin Turbo R8. So I was like, all right, yeah, I can, I can help you out with that for sure. So yeah, I started planning, you know, getting ready, tell my parents, you know, my mom's nervous about me going, but no big deal, I'm gonna be with Arnie. And two days before uh, I go on the trip, it was about early February, I'm pretty sure, um, I get a text from Arnie saying, hey, like, I'm not gonna be able to make it. And so I kind of misunderstood. I was thinking like, all right, like, I guess the trip's off, whatever. He's like, I need you to still go down there. And so at that point, like, you know, I just, the rush, I was so nervous, excited, didn't know what to expect. I'd never been on a, a, a trip that long. So yeah, I told my mom, she's freaking out, not happy about it, you know. The trip comes, I, I take the, the van and trailer home uh, to my house from, from AMS, the R8 loaded up, ready to leave the next morning early next morning comes and I take off and I start going. So it's a long trip, you know. I make it all the way to a, a town called Dolan Springs, which is the middle of nowhere and about an hour outside of Henderson, Nevada. I'm driving, it's like middle of the night, driving like probably 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, something like that. And this car pulls up next to me and, you know, they're pointing at the, the trailer and all that. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just, I'm by myself. I didn't know, you know, what these people were about. So I just kind of like, you know, wave them on and like nothing happened. They took off and I, I look back in my mirror and look and I see sparks coming out of the, the trailer wheel. And um, so I'm like, oh, that's not good. So I pull over and uh, the, you know, the shoulders are really narrow and you can't really go onto the land out because it's all rocky and whatnot out there. So I had to kind of overhang into the highway a little bit as I pulled over. And um, I got out, checked it out and I saw the wheel just totally wonky. It was a dual axle trailer, just totally wonky on that side. So didn't really know what happened. I'd brought a trailer ramp. So I, I pulled the, you know, the trailer up onto that with the good wheel. And so the bad wheel was kind of hanging. I grabbed it and it just, it just popped right off. And I was like, all right, this is not good, you know? So I call Arnie and let him know the situation. And uh, he's like, all right, it looks like, looks like you smoked a wheel bearing, you know? So I lost a wheel. So he said, what's the closest thing that you can get this thing serviced at? I'm an hour outside of Henderson. I don't really think I'm going to be able to drive this thing the rest of the way there because I've got all that weight on one wheel on one side of the trailer with the car in there, it's, it's probably just not a good idea for that. So he's like, all right, we'll just limp it to somewhere you think is safe and then we'll, we'll talk. I was like, all right, cool. I limp it to this gas station in the middle of the night and uh, I, I pull it into the gas station and I call Arnie back. And uh, I tell him the situation. He's like, all right. He's like, what do you think? What, is there anyone you know out there? Do, we need, do I need to fly out there to help you and all that? So my brain starts going, I'm like, man, I know this kid from um, the technical school I went to, he lives in Las Vegas. So I called him up and said, hey, you know, is there any, any way you can help, you know, um, bring some, some tools out here, anything, you know, just, just come out and help someone out by myself, we can figure something out together. He's about an hour out, he lived in, in Vegas, so he had to drive an hour to get out here. At this point, I still hadn't told my mom that I had broken down in the middle of nowhere, you know, because I knew her nerves, how they acted. And um, I had texted my dad on the side and said, hey, just to let you know, I broke down. Please don't tell mom, like, I'm fine. Like, everything's okay, you know? Just don't let her know yet, because I don't want her to freak out and start stressing. I call Ernie again, it was just a bunch of calling him, you know, trying to figure stuff out. And I guess he had, he had thought about it. There's no one out here who can serve this thing. It's a, it's a middle of the night on Saturday. Next day is Sunday. There's no one gonna be available to work on this thing and fix it. So um, he's like, well, we already have a plan to have this car tested by, you know, um, Automobile Magazine, uh, Time Magazine, The Drive couple other places out there is that we can't bail on these people and at that point I kind of started thinking like what if I could you know just maybe unload the car and drive the rest of them I'm like oh it's unrealistic it's not gonna happen I've only worked at AMS for three months you know they're not gonna trust me with a 900 horsepower six-speed manual twin turbo R8 you know lo and behold he says you're gonna have to unload that thing and probably just drive it the rest of the way there from Vegas to Malibu California and uh you know I have the phone next to my ear and I'm pretty sure it just started shaking I was like uh, and try to act cool about it because I didn't want him to think that I was gonna, you know, whatever. I was like, oh, I was like, oh yeah, I, I could do that. Just let me know if it, you, you know that needs to happen. So another thing, he hangs up. Uh, I guess he's got stuff to think about on that side. That's the point where I called my parents. I immediately like, get on the phone, like, you'll never guess what happened, Mom. I'm okay. Like everything's fine. The trailer broke down. I might get to drive this twin turbo R8 the rest of the way to Malibu, California. It's like a four-hour drive from the point I was at. And um, she's nervous as all can be, you know, whatever. But excited for me my dad's super excited on the other end you know 
Yeah, so Arnie calls back. He says, all right, unload the car, drive it to Vegas, because there's more stuff in Vegas to get you know help from and assistance for that. He said, have your buddy drive the van in the empty trailer, follow you into Vegas, um, You know, stay there for the night at his house. Sunday morning, maybe you can just explore, see if there's some options out there, you know? So um, I'm like, all right, great, like, no problem, I can do that. Um, keep in mind, I, I really didn't know how to drive stick that well, so arguably that's how I learned how to drive stick was on a you know, 900 horsepower twin turbo Audi R8. At that point, it's probably one o'clock in the morning, desert highways, you know, we're just cruising. I'm like, this is the most amazing thing ever. Like the sounds of the Bluff Elves right behind you, just awesome supercar, just cruising on the highway, 20 years old, you know, like what, it can't get any better than that. On the way to the Las Vegas, Nevada. And um, I remember we got on a couple of times, like not crazy, cause I was nervous, you know, it was my car and I was so new there, but of course I had to just hear it, you know, experience it a little bit. This is the greatest thing ever. I would have been just happy driving it to Vegas and that's it, you know? Get to Vegas, stay there for the night. Next morning, we find this place super sketchy, like absolutely sketchy, no website or anything like that. So I don't know how I found the guy. I found it through a, a random guy that worked at a gas station, but um, he said he could help me out. So I was like, all right, cool. So um, me and my buddy were at his house. We went to meet the guy, which was in the total slums of Vegas. So I'm, I'm here driving this R8, you know? We got that all dealt with. So then I called Arnie, I'm like, hey, just drop the van and trailer off. This guy's gonna be able to fix it. He'll be able to take care of everything. What next? And uh, Arnie's like, all right. He's like, you're gonna have to drive the car the next four hours to Malibu. And again, phone starts shaking. I'm like, absolutely, I can do that, no problem. And he, I think he heard the excitement in my voice because he started saying, he got really serious. Jordan is the 900 horsepower twin turbo R8, $200,000 car with everything, you know, He's like, be careful. I'm like, absolutely, I'll be careful, you know? He's like, don't do anything stupid. I'm like, I will not do anything stupid. I got the green light to, you know, take this awesome car to one of the best parts in the country, Malibu, California, you know? And um, my buddy was gonna be taking a pickup truck of his because we had to take all the fuel out there at the 93 octane, which they don't have on the West Coast. So we needed that fuel for the people to be able to, you know, test the car to its full extent on 93 fuel, you know? We start the, the caravan out there, my buddy following me in the truck and me in the twin turbo R8, just, going down the highway, you know, middle desert highways, mountains everywhere, just literally the greatest experience. Like <clears throat> my friends today now probably get annoyed because I tell the story at any opportunity I have. You know, I'm down there in Malibu, California, just living it up, like Highway 1, all these famous places, Beverly Hills, there's all these cool places where I get to experience a great car, you know? So I remember one instant I was in traffic on the Highway 1, uh, Pacific Coast Highway, and I'm sitting there feeling cool, windows are down, got some good music playing, you know, whatever, just living it up. And uh, I'm sitting there thinking like, you know, I'm probably standing out as one of those people that has a sweet car in the area, you know, and everyone's all eyes on me, like no one else out there like me, you know, and uh, I hear this, this music just bumping from behind me in traffic. So I'm like, uh. so I look out and I see this brand new at the time Rolls Royce Phantom, like had to have been like a 400, 500,000 dollar plus Phantom, just, you know, a cool car packed full of just high school kids. And I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm stealing my limelight, you know, I'm in this sweet car, like I'm feeling cool. And then I just see people who's, it actually probably is their car too. And I'm not, I'm in a car that's not mine. And so now I'm just getting shown up by these people who probably don't even notice me sitting there in traffic. But yeah, it just one of the greatest experiences, like the gated six speed manual, it's the clinking sound of the shifting, you know, the blow off valves of the, the, the turbos and the, cause engine's right behind, you know, just, it was the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Got to experience the car for about three or four days down there. Got to meet some really cool people. Obviously when they tested the car, it was always in cool roads in the area. so. I got to experience the car in some of the best parts of Malibu, California and Los Angeles and all that. I, I went in there knowing that, man, this is a dream place to work. All these awesome cars, you know, I'll pay my dues, I'll be a shop hand, I'll, I'll clean whatever I gotta clean, you know, just try to try to stand out as a shop hand to other managers and departments, maybe in the future get picked to, you know, be promoted in one of those departments, you know. Um, apparently I was really good at mopping and cleaning floors and people trusted me with other things that weren't cleaning related. He hits me with the you know project of bringing a car out to California, which is awesome for me because I had never thought you know from from the position I was at I'd be able to experience something like that. You know I never thought that they would pick me instead of one of the technicians that had been there a couple of years, one of the fabricators been there a couple of years, anyone else. You know, so it was really cool just knowing that from the position I was in, if I tried hard enough and tried to stand out enough and tried to just really work diligently enough that I'd get considered for something else that cool. You know, so. Just honestly, the most awesome experience I could ever have. And it all just started from me thinking I was just going to go down there with Arnie and helping him out to me being the only one heading up the mission 
and uh, having to you know drive the car after the trailer broke down from Vegas to Malibu, and then it just turned into a great story like that. At Dollar Shave Club, you're always in control. Simply choose the delivery dates and frequency that suits your schedule, so you don't run out. Get a shave, shower, or oral care starter set for just five bucks at dollarshaveclub.com.